back to KNL Farms. I'm Ken. I hope this video finds you well. And uh, we're going to go over some of the things I actually did uh, to get it uh, smart or turn it into a smart system, uh, get into the uh, 21st century. And uh, started out with uh, exhaust fan, exhaust fan, on grid exhaust fan. And I've had it on my channel before. I actually put a off grid situ uh, situation with the fan. Uh, through a solar panel so that uh, the, if the grid drops out I still have some circulation uh, with my in my greenhouse through solar but what this controller actually did for us and uh, uh, what we came up actually came up on uh, was a I don't know if you say an error but uh, but we made it easier is uh, this this controller uh, we get temps and we get temps through I think it's set at 87 degrees. So this controller, say we're gone on vacation or we're somewhere else, it gets above 87 degrees inside the greenhouse. This auto starts through a thermostat. This little wire right here is a thermostat, which I'll explain here in just a little bit on a different application. Uh, but uh, starts at 87, and uh, if it gets below 87, the, the exhaust fan drops out, gets below 40 degrees, uh, we're getting into a frost situation. It starts back up. So air movement across the, across our plants we have in the greenhouse would actually be beneficial. This is a, this right here is just a controller for the solar pan, uh, solar fan. Okay. So <clears throat> what was happening is uh, me and my wife were we were up in the morning, and uh, so. The only way we can tell the condition inside the greenhouse was we'd have our coffee and do our, do whatever we're doing, get going. We'd come down the greenhouse. So uh, we didn't like that because we're not always on the homestead. We we go and and visit people and go and do other things, and w we couldn't keep track of the greenhouse. What was ha the condition inside the greenhouse if we were gone somewhere else? So we actually bought, which I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, Go V, Go V, and uh, these two products are all the products, uh, electronics that I show you that we've chosen will be in my Amazon account. You can go take a look if you'd like. Uh, Go V actually tells us uh, what the temp inside the greenhouse is and, uh, and tells us the humidity inside here. And humidity is kind of a thing too in the greenhouse, humidity and temp. Uh, Govi actually tells us those two things and I'll show you the module that we bought. It's sitting right here. It's actually nailed to the wall so I can't get it off there. My wife nailed that to the wall and that goes through our, through our telephones. It's a smart device that goes through our telephone so say like a, a couple weeks ago we we're somewhere else two or three days and we're concerned about the tomato plants, strawberry plants, uh, lettuce we have here and I think we're going to cabbage. There's some time here also. Uh, my wife, she's concerned about a greenhouse. Get on the one of our cell phones, uh, look, look up, and it tells us uh, what's happening in the greenhouse. Now in our case, we've actually got a security system in the house. She gets on the smartphone on that morning. She looks at all the ca uh, cameras on the, on the smartphone. House is good. She checks the greenhouse. Greenhouse is good. Now she can actually enjoy herself. And we did that through Go V. Uh, and I don't know if that's the best product out there or not, but I just know that that's what we picked. The other thing is, you see a tub behind me, and this this black tub won't be on my Amazon account. This black tub is actually we bought it from a third party because it was cheaper, uh, box store. And what we do is we fill these full of water. And as the course of the day goes along, like right now, inside the greenhouse, right now the thermostat's saying it's 76 degrees. And, uh, and what it happens is, these, the water gets hot, the tub gets hot, and as it cools down, this keeps heat in the greenhouse uh, through thermal. Okay, but if that, and that's going to fail coming up pretty quick. And what we did was we actually had a... Uh, just a standard standard heater, plug-in heater, which isn't water resistant at all. I wouldn't uh, tell you to purchase this. 
but we had this on the homestead so we ran it for a couple of mornings just to keep the frost off the plants and and then we upgraded we upgraded now this is not water resistant this one is actually a indoor outdoor it's water resistant not waterproof water resistant and what it does is it's got a thermostat on it it's got a probe just like the exhaust fan has a probe on it it's got a probe on it tells you the the temperature inside the greenhouse and the other thing I'm going to tell you here in just a minute so say it gets below in this case below 40 this fan this ex, uh, he, excuse me heater this heater will actually come on and start running this heater is supposed to be for a hundred and uh, let's go with 160 square feet is what this is supposed to be rated at now we've got quite a bit of ventilation in this building but we just trying to get it keep it above freezing for a short period of time and this controller with this thermostat will start and stop well it whatever you whatever you set it at so in this case it's 40 degrees it'll start at 40 okay this one that's just an indoor type heater I don't know if you're aware but most heaters there is 50 degrees most heaters are 50 degrees and we kind of shopped around for this one here and it was uh, it started at 40 degrees now we're, we're just trying to keep it from freezing inside the greenhouse for the time being I'll spin the camera here in just a little bit and show you irrigation that we did but the only thing we did was actually 21st century was smart this is the only smart device that we had the rest of them are just controllers these two controllers actually run the applications and they don't link to our cell phones this is the only uh, application that links to the cell phone that we can see when we're on vacation so we don't have to, my wife doesn't have to be concerned about the plants and I'll spin the camera just a little bit and I'll show you that irrigation system we did okay so uh, you can still probably see me in the frame and uh, the frost free nozzle leave on through a controller through an irrigation spray nozzle and the irrigation goes uh, this goes three times a day for five minutes a piece and uh, what happens is if uh, my wife if it's got there's a target for humidity inside the greenhouse and if we can't achieve that she changes that through this controller from three times to four times to five times whatever the case may be through that smart device that I already themed on the beginning of this video